Hi guys, in this little tip tutorial, I'm going to talk about how I stay organized and just a little method that I use. Now this is not going to work for everybody because not everybody has wall space to do this method. So you can adapt this and change this to suit your needs. Now I've tried the typical journal calendar methods and appointment books. Now this works great for my daily appointments that I could fill in when clients are coming and just keep track that way. But for my long-term goes and my yearly goes, this doesn't work for me. And I've tried and tried to make these sort of setups work. And I'm going to try even harder this year to follow it better and work on it more just to see if I can train myself to use this method better. But for me, I have to visualize. I have to see things laid out because I'm a very visual person. For other people out there in this industry, you guys are really visual also. So this might work for you. So now what I do is I have an entire wall. Now I'm not going to show you my wall because it has a lot of detailed information on it that I don't want to share just yet with you guys. But I'm going to show you my method. Now what you're going to need for this is just a foam board, a white foam board. I actually buy the ones for, that are called Ross from Walmart. They're a lot cheaper than the other foam board that Walmart has. They're like a these are like 89 cents or 98 cents and the other ones are almost three or four dollars. So I use several of these. I have like nine of these and they line up across my wall. Now I line these up by using these little clips here if you can see. And they're just the little paper clips. And I take that and I just put it on the top of my board in the center so it'll be even. And I use thumbtacks, clear thumbtacks across my wall to hang them up. So when I'm working on something, I can take this down, have it closer to me, change anything that I need, and then just hang it back up. I can also change the order. And all it is is a teeny tiny pinprick in my wall so I can fill that in later if I need to. Now, what I do with this, I have different ones. I have nine, like I said. And each one has topics or goals or to-do list and I even have one that's daily tasks so when I get up in the morning I have to look at that daily task I know I need to do these things if I don't have this in my life I just don't do my daily task it's just I get overwhelmed with art and people and friends and life and that's just how it goes so I have to have that structure in order to stay focused. So I'm gonna show you one of my boards and it's going to seem a little crazy, but you can change these to however you want. And I use post-it notes to do this. So if you can see this, and it's got a little damage because I've had it here next to the office desk, but if you can see, I'm gonna hold it back. It will have colored post-it notes that will show everything that I need to do. When I accomplish a task, I change the color of the post-it note. And I use different post-it notes and different colors to identify with different things. It's kind of like a key that I have. So an orange means it's my daily task. And then a pink means each thing I need to do. Now I'm not gonna change my color every time I do a daily task, but for topics that are long-term goals, I'll hold this out. So if I have a topic that's a long-term goal, it starts out pink and then I change it to blue when I'm done so I can see that I finished that task and I need to move on to the next one. I hope that makes sense. So I just use regular post-it notes. You can order these in any colors that you want, every color that you want. You can buy them at a store. Post-it has a really nice website that has tons of different options. And then your regular office supply store will have different looks as well. And you can even make these even fancier if you want and decorate them up. Anything that you wanna do to make them fit you. I don't really spend the time or the, even the extra money decorating each foam board to have an organizational identification key or whatever, but you can if that's what you want to do. And again, I have these lined up across my wall and they're just with that thumbtack. It's really easy to do. So I hope this tip helps you maybe get a little bit more organized. Start with one or two foam boards if you have this space. A great place to store these if you don't have a lot of wall space is on the back of your closet doors. 
on the back of your bathroom doors, like just different places, and you can transfer this technique to your personal life. So if you're a visual person, this may be the option that you need to stay on track and stay on focus. And you'll see different really fancy options such as uh, dry erase boards that have been printed out for your daily tasks. Those are great for things you're going to repeat over and over and over again. But for to-do lists that change, try these post-it note methods and let me know in the comments if this worked for you. Um, if you have any suggestions that worked for you that I haven't tried, I'd love to hear from you just to see what works for different people. So I hope this quick tip helps you and send me a comment in the comment section and let me know how you did.